and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first deck of the day, which is going to be Yasuo Midrange, our first time playing Yasuo on stream. And I'm excited to do it because it's, it's a pretty sweet champion, very powerful, has a lot of potential, but also has some flaws. First, just wanted to mention you may see over in the record part over here, I uh, noticed how there's two Ds here next to the Yasuo midrange. That means this is a donation deck. We also have a donation deck later on. Donation decks are you know, either submitted by viewers or viewers ask me to build decks for them. If you would like your own donation deck, if you're watching later on YouTube, it's just 10 bucks. if you want to see any deck played on stream. There's a link to donate down below. It's just $10. All right, so this one, um, this is actually just very, very similar to Mogwai's Yasuo deck. It's just two cards changed from it. I know he's been having success with, with Yasuo, and, and I was playing this one earlier today and, and having some success as well. The thing about Yasuo, like I was just saying, it's very powerful when you can have it out. Um, you know, whenever you're stunning or recalling your opponent's enemies, you do two damage to it. Like, that's pretty nice, getting basically Mystic Shots each time and once Yasuo is leveled up you're doing five damage to it basically um pretty awesome the problem is is you need your opponent to be playing units because if they're if they're not playing units then all these cards that are trying to stun their units aren't going to really be doing anything so the control decks can be a problem and then of course you need your Yasuo to stay alive and so if it leaves the battle so you need your opponent playing units and not killing your Yasuo and also not playing too fast because we can be uh we can struggle against really aggressive strategies in that vein i've added in a couple house spiders to be really good blockers good efficient blockers with two two bodies against the aggro decks um can even just be two two bodies against the control decks also early on so we have a couple house spiders in here um is the different addition all right, but let's let's get to it. We're gonna go play ten matches over in ranked. Let's see how we do with Yasuo, which I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I I even you know looked up. I tried to look up like online like how to pronounce it and stuff, and it's not. There wasn't anything that was very clear, but I think it's Yasuo. <laughs> So here we go. Okay, and Rad in chat says that's correct. Blade says it's correct. All right, so Yasuo. Because, yeah, I tried just, you know, Google searching how to pronounce it. And, um, you know, and it's like, you know, it has it, like, written out, but not, like, where you can hear it. And so it's still... Because if you think about it, Yasuo and Yasuo are basically written the exact same, and so it's difficult to tell. All right, we're playing against Jinx. Um, I mean, Minotaur Reckoner is awesome, but does cost six mana, so I think I want to just only have one in the opening hand. Ugh. It's possible I should just get rid of all of them, but I'm really glad we have this House Spider right now. These, If I knew I was going to be drawing Swiftfoot, another Yasuo would have... Definitely mulliganed more. But this is gonna work out. This is this is a good curve having House Spider into Sentry. That's good. See, look how look how perfect this card is. Perfect. So I think we kill these two. Because they do the damage whenever they attack. Like they're all attacking for three. Uh Presumably my sentry can can block the rear guard and then I take zero, where if I have sentry block one of the two ones, I would still take a point of damage. Dang, all these. So what's the special spell? Steel Tempest? Okay. It's playable. Reporting in? I had five one drops. It's a pretty good hand. Okay, ready. Hmm. I guess we'll block here this time so that Yasuo can block the two one.
but yeah, if they just have all all those one drops and and this like this is this is a tough hand to stop. I mean, we had about as good as we could have. Life and death. They just have another decimate, I'm dead. Just you and me, fish bones. <laughs> really wish I could play Yone this turn. Won't find better this side of the sun. Dang. Really, really wish I could play your name. No, they got me. So let's see, I stun this, stun this, or I play a blocker and stun. I can take out three things, but I'm dead. Can't stay alive. All right, so I need to mulligan my six drop, my other six drop also, and I wish I would have mulliganed the Yasuo as well. Wish I would have just mulliganed everything, but the spider was amazing. I couldn't stop that hand. Um, yeah, there's just, there's not really another champion, yeah, we didn't, didn't, doesn't, you know, this isn't really paired with another champion, there's not one that, um, there's not one that really helps Yasuo, like, we have, we have, like, these, these cards, like, we have some really, really powerful top-end cards, Minotaur, Reckoner, Yone, like, these aren't exactly champions, but they just help our game plan, quite a bit. And so we went with cards that help our game plan. Um, there's not... Yeah, so there's... If we play another champion, we'll probably have to play it over like those kind of cards. Um, it just doesn't quite fit. Green click, you know, like static shock, like that block means that they're playing static shock. That was okay. Um, at least that's what I was fearing with static shock. I want to have twin disciplines, be able to protect Yasuo. What do you mean, any thoughts on the Anivia combo decks? Like, what? What do you mean? Follow the wind, but watch your back. Like the the Anivia combo decks that I've played, are there other ones that are out there? I don't Where there is life, there is hope. Yeah, I I mean I've I've 
played a version like that called it Anivia Tribal. I've, I've played a deck like that a couple of times, and it's really fun to play. It's not like top tier, but it's, it's fun to play, and um, I enjoy it. I can find you those videos. There's one from March 3rd and March 7th. Yeah, I like those. They're fun to play. Technique. Good results. Um, I don't. I don't know if Yasuo needs a buff or a rework. Um, so when when Yasuo, you know, like, you have to go through some. You have to jump through some hoops to like make Yasuo work. But Yasuo is super powerful. Like when when he does. Um, I mean, yeah, comparing comparing Yasuo to Ezreal, Ezreal is definitely a lot better. Ezreal is also just probably the, the very best champion. Um, So, I play Yone on these two. I don't have any protection for Yasuo. Is that okay? Do I have better options? Other option is just sitting back with protection and having deny available. Maybe that's a better option. Hey, Rag getting the sub. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Alright, so I think that's a, just a really good card to deny. You know, kills two things, draws them a card, but also it's two triggers for Ezreal. So it just does so much. Uh, Rat asks, do I have a favorite deck? I, I, I don't really. Um, maybe if I had to, uh, choose something. Hey, Freelancer! Getting a gifted sub as well. Welcome, Freelancer. Thank you, Blade. If I had to choose something, it would probably be the Teemo Wayfinder deck. But, um... I, I'm usually one that has, I don't know, I'm not one that has favorites too much. Like, I, I really, like, a, a kind of appreciate everything. I like so many different decks. Um, I haven't, I haven't played, this is my, this is really my first kind of, uh, dive into playing Yasuo deck, so I haven't played a Yasuo Katarina um, more aggressive version. I really wanted to fit a Katarina in here somewhere because I just like Katarina. I think Katarina is a, a fun card to play, but really couldn't find any any place for Katarina. At last, I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. Alright, so I still have protection with Twin Disciplines. Um, if 
they try killing Yasuo. Awesome. That level up yet? Not yet. Time for a true display of skill. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Awesome. Okay. That went very well. That went very well. What's my daily quest today, anyway? I guess I should figure that out. I forgot to look at that. Win a game with Fiora or Ash in your deck. I'm not playing any Fiora or Ash today. Let's reroll it. Spend 10 mana on Noxus Champions. Uh, so that'd be Draven. So I'd spend 10 mana on Dravens. I could do that. I'm gonna play four Dravens. Um, but do we still reroll? Cause it's only a thousand one. Well, let's try rerolling. Play 20 rounds. That's an easy one. I like that one. There's Fiora. Um, so I don't think we really need House Spider in this kind of matchup where they're going to be killing my little things. So let's keep these. We'll have the Green Glade Lookout try to reduce the Minotaur cost. Be able to protect Minotaur. Minotaur seems pretty good. Hada, good evening. I long for a worthy opponent. Think you're fast? Cute. Think you're fast or cute? Those are your options. Whoa. Is this like a horse? I thought it was like a rabbit. Oh no. Rabbit's like jumping. You just don't see the horse's head. What's going on in this picture? I don't understand it. Mm. So I want to use Will of Ionia this early. I guess so. Kind of wish I would get like a barrier out of their hand or something first. All right, got denied. Oh, is it a tail? Oh no, that's that's not the card I want. Where's the card I want? No, yeah, it's dead. I can't see it. Oh, that's true. One of one of her quotes is, don't let the fluffy tail fool you. That's true. That's a good call. There probably is a tail. Yeah, we can't see it right now, but... Yeah, that's a good call. That is a big fluffy tail. Show them our strength. What is strength without style? 
as far as tails go. Hey Rex, thanks for making it. Uh, I really like Vlad. Question: The stainless thoughts on Vlad. I really like Vlad. Vlad's. Um, the order rewards its faithful. Vlad's a lot of fun to play, and Vlad's pretty powerful too. I wouldn't mind Vlad getting a little bit of a bump in power. Vlad decks are cool. I kind of think like the leveled up version of Vlad should be a little better. Like it should do more than what it does right now. Like maybe the leveled up version, I don't know, you attack and it does does two damage to each? Or like two damage to the opponent for each one? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe the, yeah, I could see that. I could see the level up version being where the attack does one to all, all battling units. So like the opponent's um, creatures are taking a damage also. Or, or yeah, or it heals based on damage dealt. I can see that too. I should probably just be throwing one of these things in front of this. Strike without worry. Can basically trade my twin disciplines for a barrier on their side. I think that's a good trade, I think. <laughs> Rogobop says, I've been going on about four weeks of playing and I can't say I've ever run into Vlad. Didn't even know what he did. I had to look him up. Yeah, he's not the best, but... You know, five mana, five five. Like that's, that's good body. Oh, really? One of his abilities in league is that he heals himself. Okay, so I guess that's the that's where the regeneration comes in whenever he, he flips. But he could just have like the regeneration all the time. Like it definitely have made Vlad a little bit better. Like he just has always has regeneration, and then maybe after he flips, he, like the damage dealt heals the nexus, or just it always heals the nexus. I wish this thing was for less health, not power. I've already bounced my Reckoner twice. 
Well, they don't keep bouncing it. It's kind of crappy. It'd be a lot better if I had a Yasuo. Intimidating roars don't look very intimidating right now. Where are we at? Four out of five? Like holding this steel, like the steel tempest is going to be better. These two drops just don't do anything here. This matchup, like this, these are just dead cards, and these intimidating roars don't look good either. All right, come on, Yasuo. We haven't seen one yet. Draw one. That was weird. Connection problem. Bounce that, bounce that. I guess that's a problem now. The skilled snap. It's like I wanted to kill that skilled snapper, but now now they get to Lauren Protege. Like that's a problem. This is a problem. If they're just gonna go straight to attacks. Then I'm not gonna be able to play these things first. So I guess I play the swift foot. You'll wanna give me some space. Promise. Yeah, they've had a little bit. Yeah, they've had a few connection issues. Yeah, I guess. I guess like player versus player game invites aren't aren't working working too well right now
Well, that's not great. Card can look really good sometimes, but man, it looks bad now. We just have five cards that in hand that didn't do a single thing. Looks like, you know, like they it seemed like they were saving the. Um, that fight spell for me having a Yasuo. Noxus Ionia Mirror. You don't see very much Noxus Ionia just in general, but we got a mirror. For Noxus Ionia. This will almost certainly be a better Intimidating Roar matchup. In general, that last matchup is probably not that bad for Intimidating Roar. They probably just have just a couple creatures that it doesn't hit, and they just had, you know, Garen and Scythria. It's not like they're going to be playing a whole bunch of both of those cards. They just had them. I can't block either of those right now. That's a card. I honestly shouldn't even be attacking here. Should I? Then this is just gonna kill stuff? Maybe I shouldn't be. Wish we had a protection spell for Yasuo, like if we had something. You don't always just end end the game or end the turn whenever you surrender. Did you know the the weekly yellow snappers? Did you know that the weekly uh, rewards are changing? This intimidating roar is going to be amazing if Yasuo doesn't die. Yeah, they're they're upgrading the weekly rewards. It's going to be even better. Um. There you go. Check, you know, go go there to the news. It's like the first article. I hope they don't have removal or a deny. So they don't, it's one one sided board wipe. And a leveled up Yasuo. No one is wrong. 
All right, well, now it's going to be pretty hard for my opponent to win this. We'll see what kind of direct damage they have. Because they even have, like, these Steel Tempests. But yeah, so Vault Rewards. Something's never done. Um, starting starting next Tuesday, uh, you get you get an Expedition Token at level 2 now instead of 10. Level 5, you get a Random Champion. Level 10, you get a Champion Wild Card instead of a Random Champion. So, you get, so you, if you just get to level 10 every week, you get a Champion Wild Card each week. Um, and then instead of stopping at level 13, you get Unlimited Capsules each, each level after 13. And each capsule contains three rares and two commons. Stay safe. And I'll each each capsule has the chance to upgrade to an epic or champion capsule. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's like with that, especially with like the chance to get unlimited capsules and everything, like there's you're gonna be able to get um, you're gonna get so much rewards every week just for playing crazy amount of rewards. Anything to the right coin. Guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, it's really generous. Um it did make expeditions worse. You know, expeditions now don't just give you a champion every single time. Because, um, you know, like, they basically took that reward and is given that each week now. Um, but... Uh, but but the expeditions cost less now to enter. They only cost 2,000 shards, but... Yeah, like, expeditions aren't as good. But the weekly vault rewards are insane now. I was worried about a twin dis I was worried about attacking into a twin disciplines like with the Yasuo like it Yasuo is just too valuable to too valuable to risk getting killed they followed the wrong map All right, I don't I don't really care about these things they can die Minotaur Reckoner will kill this. So I was able to basically just keep Deny available like that, that whole time. Didn't have to play a spell. Two and two. That's even something, you know, I went for the deny there just to have the, the lethal, but honestly, like that's that's just the aggressive line there where I, I could just sit back still and just let that happen and replay my Minotaur. Um You know, it's it's obviously like as, as long as they're not killing me, like we're gonna be winning them. Boom. That shows that game was that's how Yasuo is amazing. Yasuo killed uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine creatures. From just Yasuo's ability, we killed nine creatures. Like that game, Yasuo just dominated. That card's definitely gone. We probably cut one of these. Maybe not. These twin disciplines are gonna be good. Hey, pools. Hey, Vidal. What's up, y'all?
So the problem with playing the Green Glade Lookout is if I play the Lookout, then I'm not going to have protection for Yasuo in two turns. Hey, Rap Walkie. What's up? Everybody's joining in. the attack token. Well, I want to attack anyway. I'll let an attack token hold me back. Um... Think you're fast. Cute. I don't really need to play Yasuo right away. I'll, I'll go double two drop. Uh, that makes my double two drop plan worse. Not gonna lie. They're playing uh, Karma Ezreal, pretty popular deck. Um, We did beat this deck earlier. That was our first win. But this game's already... I don't know. This game's pretty close. Like, I don't... I don't I don't know if, like, we're, like, favorite... Like, basically, we did win earlier, but I, I don't think that just necessarily means that we're going to be winning every time. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? That's a great question. There are leaves falling. But it seems like they're in the shade. It's a good purpose for a leaf. Shade. T-Rex. Yeah, two Ds mean this is a donation deck. You name it, I'll nick it. Still have three mana. Do we have another get excited? So do I play this and protect? Or do I force them to have a second to get excited? I think I forced them to have a second get excited. Even just having, even if they do have get excited, Reckoner is still going to be good. Darn it. I had a second thermogenic beam. Alright, well that's not very good for me. Can I get a second Yasuo? Um, yeah, I think it, it really takes the good aspects of, of MTG and Hearthstone and kind of combines them together. I wrote I wrote a little thing a couple of weeks ago about why I'm playing this over Magic. I'm somebody who's played a ton of Magic in my day, so I compare it to that. So if you're if you're pretty familiar with with Magic, that that could be a good read. But like the main thing here, the main difference between this and those games, it's not. 
they have a turn, I have a turn, they have a turn, I have a turn. It's it's turn one. One person attacks during the turn, the other person doesn't, but still, like, turn one, both players get to play, you know, creatures, units, minions, whatever you want to call them, each turn, you know, turn two, turn three. Like, we both have, the, you know, turn seven, you both get seven mana to use, and it's back and forth, and it, it makes the game very, very balanced. It's not, if, if you play first, you win at all. Yeah, and uh, so that's that's really interesting. You also can there's also strategy between behind uh, if you don't spend mana, you get to save it for the next turn or like for future turns that you can use only on spells, not on units. But it so it allows you to have some strategy there and allows you to catch up if you're a slower spell heavy deck while your opponent's curving out. So that's a really nice aspect. Yeah, and the rewards, the rewards with this game, the thing that, the other thing that really sets it apart are the rewards with the game. That you get absolutely amazing rewards, and and that's even upgrading next next week. Um, but it's you really don't need to spend money on this game, and you can build the collection pretty quickly. You can get all the cards in five six weeks, basically, or most everything. So I kind of figured that they'd have a deny. That's why I was worried about having the playing the Mina Swiftfoot um, and using this ability because they would be able to deny it, and I, you know, wouldn't have the mana to stop them from doing that. They're still looking very good here. Like, this is probably... This is probably their game to lose right now. Like, having Karma and all these cards, I'm... I think I'm kind of behind. Yeah, QQ, I'm I'm using I'm using you instead of stream elements. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. The only thing I, I can't figure out, QQ, is the, the deck command. It doesn't it doesn't work for you, so I have MTG bot still has the deck command and that's it.
made for Roman and chicken. Basically, I usually add it on on like I usually do add you know or like you know I want to be I want to be able to like edit it. I usually edit it on deck list and then. And then the deck command follows the deck list command, you know, because I want deck and deck list to be the exact same, but I don't want to edit both of them. So, like, right now... You know, I, I usually just, you know, do the command deck list, and I have deck always mirror what deck list says. Oh, this is their turn? Oh, I thought I was going to my attack. So I played the swift foot. I thought I was going to my attack. Don't blink or you miss me. Yeah, Ezreal, we all know you're broken. We're just gonna die to this Ezreal. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just dead, just even, like, good seed. Cause that's, so that's four damage, that's eight damage. Like, all they need are two spells. And, I, and I'm dead. Ezreal's ridiculous. These mushroom clouds are just four damage. That's why Ezreal is the best champion. I will play my part. Negotiations are over. Focus earthward, aim skyward. No, I've never I've never played League before. Alright, so we're one on one against that deck. Get our chest. Chest reward. My collection's getting too full. Everything's extra copies these days. Hey, we got upgraded to an epic wild card. That's cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's very similar. What we're gonna play up next next is Draven Control, which is basically what what my opponent just did. Is how we're gonna be like Ezreal is how the Draven Control deck wins almost every time. Like that's that's what we're gonna be doing up up next for our next deck. All right, so right now. So QQ does does yours work for for deck and deck list and and if so how do I add it I don't know you may may want to send me like a, a PM or something because then I'm wondering if I can get get rid of MTG bot now and everything I guess let me know how it works. A Draven Darius Timo. Okay. Okay, you're working on it? Okay. Cool. 
yeah, I have time for another donation deck today. I don't have to play, like, the Iceborne Spiders. I wasn't, you know, that was a very, that was kind of like a, you know, that's a, a slot filler, basically. So, um, if you want a donation deck second or third, you know, I can move the Draven Control to the other. And, yeah. Absolutely have time for another donation deck. It's Draven time. The order rewards its faithful. Axis coming right up. I wonder how intimidating our roar is. I think our roar is pretty intimidating. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out if the roar is intimidating or not. Skya, thanks for the raid. Welcome everybody from Skya's stream. Welcome, welcome. We're just starting off today. And starting with Yasuo. We're currently two and three, as you can see in the top left-hand corner. Usually play 10 matches with each deck. Um, we're over in Master's Rank. Okay, well, those creatures will be a little bit too large now. Those ones will still get stunned. The stun is four power or less. So like these are still gonna be stunned. Now we're cooking. Not that one anymore. Got access. That was a lot of pump spells. You cannot Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be tough to stabilize. You know, like, we're already down to eight. Whenever the Boom Crew rookie attacks, we take two. This is going to be tough to stabilize. This is again where, yet again, where Yasuo would would be really great. Um, like where if we were doing damage with all these things. We have to play this. We're gonna stun that. I guess it's this. True power requires restraint. Yeah, our, our Yasuo deck needs more Yasuos. Just gonna put this here. Your end is my duty. Better run! Ooh, that's good. That is good. I will play my part. I stand for Noxus. I got to work with this Joker. So next turn is going to be turn 9, so I'll have 9 mana. 
But basically, I have to cast Refuge and Will of Ionia. Basically, I'm thinking, should I play the Green Glade Lookout or not? I think the answer is not. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'll just bank this mana. Gives me 11. I would be able to play both of those and be able to play Shadow Assassin. Okay, let's see. The chump. Humility before power. Face me, Shorthorn. I'll make this quick. Do not interfere. This would be me going to four. I kind of feel like they're gonna have, you know, like they're gonna have more tricks and stuff, so I'll still be able to play this Will of Ionia. Darn it! We did not get to play the Will of Ionia. That means my Minotaur Reckoner died. I wanted to bounce this Darius, but. There's no Yasuos. Yeah, they did not have any more pumps that they played. Yasuo! Maybe I do. Sleep for the guiltless. Well, that's great. Hear my roar! It's quite intimidating. GG's. Three and three. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Immediate surround. Good old two card combos. Yasuo. He's super powerful whenever it works. But you gotta draw him. Okay, let's see. We're playing against Ash. I'll just keep Minotaur Reckoner. Nah, we'll send it all back. There's Yasuo. Now let me get that barrier back. This is not a good deny matchup. Basically, all their stuff, at least all the Frostbite cards, are burst speed. Um, but they could have. Pulling strike or something like that, I suppose. Yeah, frostbite v stun. I do need more of the whole stun thing. There we go. That's a stun card. Trade Shadow Assassin for Elixir of Iron, but we also draw a card. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I have the refuge. Hmm. 
Playing Yasuo means I, I have to just play Refuge just to keep it alive for a turn. Alright, Steel Tempest, that's a good draw. Kind of risky because I don't have deny or refuge, but I'm not really expecting them to have a direct removal spell. Yay! Formation. All right, this is good now. Stand together. You're mine. I still have four mana up for Deny or Refuge. So this happens. I'll be all their stuff dying and my little 1-1 one -one dying. So... They got some work to do. Elixir of Iron. Okay. Saves that. Calling Strike. No. Don't kill my Minotaur. My Minotaur, cool. Don't do that. OPP surrendered. Four and three. Yasuo beat Ash. Heads up matchup. That was a pretty heads up matchup between the two. I didn't see the rest of what that said. I saw it said that, you know, it was starting to say Lux isn't afraid of the dark, but she is. And I didn't see the rest of that. Karma Heimerdinger. Hey, got another another raid. No more games live. Raid in with the party of 35. Bring the hype in. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We are playing some Yasuo midrange right now. Currently. Currently we are four and three. So we've got a winning record. We playing ten. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? We're playing 10 matches with this, and then 10 matches with our, our other decks as well. Um, just go to attacks with this. Nope. I want to play this first. Oh, no, Puff Cat Peddler. That's a good card. <clears throat> so what, what were you playing today? No, no more games? What were you doing? Finish some spooky karma and some aggro games. Okay, good. Were you going with spooky karma with or without Thresh? Because I I like the I'll admit that I like the deck with Thresh more than without Thresh. I think I think Thresh adds a lot to the deck. I can find I can find a list for you for, for what I play for that deck without the Thresh. Okay. 
Yeah, that's that's my version with the Thresh. I, I really like Thresh maybe. in there. Um, I don't... But speaking of what I don't like, I don't like any of our options right now. We really have kind of nothing going on. Guess I'm denying that. I mean, it, it's a three for one. It kills two of my things and draws them a card, so I guess I deny it. Okay, all right, Furion sounds good. So yeah, we'll, we'll wait till Friday. Sounds good. We are not drawing well over here. Wow. They're just trading their Puff Cat Peddler away? That is surprising. They're willing just to trade Puff Cat Peddler away. For nothing. Little tutus. They could have cast all these before the Peddler died. But that's their plan. That's a great draw, though, Shadow Assassin. Great draw. Intimidating Roar, horrible draw. <clears throat> great draw. Horrible draw. <laughs> it's a 2 2 flyer whenever it's summoned to draw an unplayable card. We'll take a Yone. There we go. Back to playable cards. Only I can quell the wind. It's number three. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. <laughs> hey, and then no more, no more games live with the tier one sub. Also, thank you, thank you. So, when do you, when's your normal stream time? No more games. When are you when are you normally streaming? Swiftfoot. Um, guess I'm just going to attacks. I will play my part. Should I Swiftfoot? What happens if, if I bounce both of these and they have nine cards in hand? What happens? I don't even know what happens. I kind of want to see what happens. Okay, well, they, they cleared up room.
Okay, you start usually about four hours ago. Dang, so then you're probably never on, like, whenever I finish up for me to raid you. Because I always start, uh, like, an hour and a half ago and stream for about seven hours. So, yeah, I guess we're still going with the deny for the static shock. I think that's our... That's how our deny cards. They don't they don't get to draw and all that kind of stuff. Okay, they're denying mine, so I guess we'll just do. We'll just do plus zero plus three here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to check you out before I get go streaming then. So. Over. Um, whoops, I accidentally canceled or left the chat. Alright, um, back in the chat room now, but now my chat's cleared up. Alright, so am I just gonna go straight to attacks? I think so. I will play my part. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. No, they had another, uh, another static shock. The third one. Definitely worst case scenario here. Okay, so you played Magic before Runeterra is the first one for you to stream. Okay. Awesome. All right, well, I am now following. There we go. I went over and, and followed your channel. Hope other people do that, too. All right, anyway, let's see. What do we want to do here? I I mean, I just... I, I guess that's probably my best thing is just to bounce my swift foot. I wonder if it's actually... Maybe I should be bouncing my Shadow Assassin, too, because I can replay Shadow Assassin and draw a card. This is annoying. What's better? A 6-5 or a 2-2 two -two draw card? Probably the 2-2 two -two draw card. Nudge! Thanks, Nudge. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Say, enjoying the Switch from MTG. Awesome. Me too. Thank you very much. All right, that's our fourth sub of the day, so we're one away from a sub goal already today. Our sub goals go towards 12-hour streams. That's what we do here. Once we hit 20 total sub goals, I do a 12-hour stream to celebrate, and we're we're getting close to that. I'm drawing a lot of puff caps. See, Yasuo is just really cool to play. Like that's that was pretty sweet introduction there. I probably should have just thrown a blocker in front. Hada, getting the gifted sub. Yeah, I should have just put a blocker in front. Well, the, that's still a shock hit. Sub goal hype. Thanks, no more games live. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and if, if y'all, uh, I think this should work. Um, I don't know if this works. I'm gonna try it. There we go. All right, there's a, there's a nice shout out there. All right, let's update that. We hit this sub goal. And hopefully this karma doesn't kill us. No, 
No. Stop playing stuff and kill me. All right, now we need to update the the sub goals. So I'll do that down below. The info panel. Ooh, we were at 17, so now we're at 18. So we're two sub goals away. I reckon that's the end of the Minotaur. They cannot hide. All right, we're finally going to try to cast this thing. Take from the rich, give to me. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Hey, what's up, Twitch? Uh, let's see. 18 damage. So much damage. So you're thinking of forming a Shadow Isles Wraith Caller with Mist Call and Duplicates plus Freljord Iceborne Legacy. Okay, so mostly just going with... I don't think I, I let them get free random spells. Okay, so, so trying to go mostly heavy Shadow Isles and... Wraith crawler, everything like that. That's a good draw. Feet were made for but then also use Iceborne Iceborne Legacy on the on like the Mist Wraiths. I think you could do that. Yeah, I think try it out. Like that could work. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. All right, five and three. Yasuo getting it done. That was a real close match there. That was a good one. Yeah, winning the control matchup. That's not easy to do. Yeah, you... Yeah, you get to yeah try to make as many wraith crawlers and get as many mist wraiths. And try to keep duplicating them. I like it. Let's get rid of this lookout without anything else. We'll get rid of the deny. I mean, actually, Deny should be awesome here, honestly. Never mind. Keep Deny. We'll get rid of Refuge. I don't even know if I should be keeping the Blade Twirler, but it's a two-drop. This should be an Iceborne Legacy deck. Like, where we want to be Denying on turn three. We can play this and still have the four mana for Deny. They're probably going to play like the six mana, make three spiderlings. Make them all two ones. No, they didn't. I was not, I was not expecting that. Okay, never mind. Maybe this isn't a spiraling deck. I would like to draw Yasuo. 
Darn, that didn't work. Hmm. We could just stun all their stuff. Grow this thing up pretty big. Seems like a pretty good option right now. Basically playing a fog. Yeah, we've got a winning record right now with Yasuo. So, I mean, Yasuo, like this, Yasuo's not amazing. It's not like tier one or anything. It's not, it's not like one of the very best things you can be doing, but it's, it's different, fun to play. You can still be successful. But I wouldn't say this is a, a tier one deck. But hmm. All right, just going to bounce that thing right now, because now it's just going to be a 2-2 two -two instead of a 3-3. Three -three. Basically, I was hoping... That was that was pretty bad to see. Because I, I was hoping to be able to play this on their turn before they attack. To stun something, but no. I wish this gave Trample. I wish you give Trample this thing. That's not even the uh, the undying that we knew about. I really want them to play this other undying. That would be awesome. Play the other uh, the undying. No, play the other one. No, I guess we're only stunning two things, but whatever. We'll go stun, stun. I have come for the unforgiven. Oh yeah. So is that so that that's that's just a tail? Like it kind of looks like a horse. It looks like the side of a horse, right? I thought it was like the side of the horse with like the head behind the fluff master over here. Seven seven. Does look like a horse though, right? I'm not I'm not crazy, right? I know we need we need might, not elixir of wrath. We need give overwhelm. Interfere. Want to see these 
moves up close. Mm. Does not look like a horse. All right, fine. I guess it's just a fluffy tail. Just such a huge tail. Tail's bigger than it. I think I'd rather have Deny available than play this Lookout. Good call me. I think they won this now. Unless I draw Yasuo. Nope. This would have been a good Yasuo matchup. So now what's Yasuo supposed to do for me? Your end is my duty. Alright. Alright, five and four. <laughs> Bring the others. One more if we win it. Finish six and four. And, you know, have a good 60% win rate. Lose it, we go 500. So we're at least going to be 500. At the very worst. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what squirrels look like. I guess, I guess it could be... Yeah, I guess squirrels do have really big tails compared to the rest of their body. So that's, that's fair. So it's like a, a rabbit with a squirrel tail. Oh, it's not just one tail, it's like three three or more tails. So I guess we know what they're choosing in the game of heads or tails. Greenglade Lookouts haven't been impressive. It's been one of our worst cards in our deck. Do I want Twin Disciplines? I feel like the, the Blade Twirler is just going to be very easy to kill. I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe if I have, like, Twin Disciplines protected. No, not the, not the intimidating roar. Not against the control deck. There we go. That's a good card. They're out there. Shadow assassins are awesome. In Avarosa's name. Boom. 
18. Mark it down. The War Mother will unite us all. What do these Yordle eyes see? Our banner will lead the way. I don't want to block in Twin Disciplines, giving plus three, plus zero. Basically, Vile Feast is the only card in their deck that would really blow me out. Is that worth it? Alright, it worked out. Try to keep up. You fade, I fight. Yep. Alright, so a couple of two-for-ones for them. Those last two cards are both two-for-ones. Fortunately, Swiftfoot can't bounce allies, can only bounce enemies. Like, I wouldn't mind bouncing my own Shadow Assassin. To be honest. Hmm. Is elite's only purpose to fall. The more ruinations they have, the the worse off I am. Ready the torches. I don't know which one I want to use, honestly. Yeah, Solitary Monk is, could be good to play on turn three, but this deck does have a lot of units, and like it does have a lot of units that you don't really want to pick up. Like You don't want to pick up your own Yasuo or Minotaur Reckoner later on, but um, honestly, I could definitely see playing a copy or two. I don't think we would want the full three, but with that being said, the... Just stun them. Bounce. To use my mana better to bounce. Um, the green glade lookouts have been pretty poor, and so I could I could definitely see changing those. Like maybe getting the third spider, like the third uh, two drop spider that we have in here, and then maybe playing like one or two uh, solitary monk. I could see doing that. Dangerous out here, kid. I can handle myself.
Didn't really consider Ruination. I guess that was probably a pretty bad play against Ruination. Oh, wait, I have Deny. Okay, never mind. Right, I have Deny. Alright, so this should flip Yasuo. And so that then. Now, Yasuo, after this, Yasuo will start doing 5 damage, which is the correct number to kill Anivia. I may want to just Will of Ionia to be able to keep Deny available. The journey doesn't get you the rope light. You know, just cards like Cards like Ruination, Harrowing, stuff like that. Like, there's some pretty wicked spells they could have. Kind of what I didn't want them to do. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. didn't get to play Yasuo first, because if I just play Yasuo, then they attack. Can't really stop the attack trigger. So they're at 14. I have 14 damage coming in. That's a convenient number. I can see them having two of the five mana spells, like a Withering Whale plus a Grasp of the Undying, and tapping out with both of those. And boom, Yasuo with the six and four. Six and four. All right, so got a winning record with Yasuo. Cast up to number 299. Awesome. Good 60% win rate. That's a, that's a good win rate. So there we go. Um, yeah, I liked everything in the deck except for as we talk, as, we, as we've been talking about the Green Glade Lookout. That was the one card that that really was felt out of place. That I understand it's supposed to, you know, reduce the cost of these things, but just oftentimes we didn't have those things. Or if you draw this card in the late game, it's it's really bad. Um, so you you like have to have this early, and you have to have one of the other things in play, and then all, your whole you know, your whole reward for that is like reducing their cost by one because it's just going to die to, you know, it was just getting cleaned up by static shock or trading with spiderlings. Uh, it just wasn't, wasn't very good. Um, so I wouldn't really play that card again. I would rather have another house spider to start with. And then, yeah, I am, I am intrigued by, I am intrigued by Solitary Monk. It is a large body. 
Um, but like bouncing, like like it doesn't work. Like the problem is obviously bouncing Blade Twirler, really bad. Bouncing Minotaur Reckonar, really bad. Like bouncing these things, you can replay them and get like their things. It's not the worst. Um, bouncing Shadow Assassin and Arachnoid Sentry can be good. Um, bouncing High House Spider, not so great. I mean, you just have to recast the the Spiderling if you want to play that. I don't know. I'm I'm intrigued by it. Um, Navori Conspirator is also another option to trigger the recall, but now that it's a 2-2, it's not as good. You really need to be playing more one-drops for Navori Conspirator. I don't think I'd want to play Conspirator. Um, I don't know what I'd want to play with the other two uh, spells. I could see playing one Might for these Blade Twirlers, maybe, or just playing, like, Culling Strike. Uh just a card that can kill Ezreal basically kills every like basically kills all the champions people play these days um you're welcome blade you're welcome um so definitely some other options like shadow shift can recall one of your things like that's that's a recall card um Honestly, I'd probably just put first. I'll just put the third deny in. I think this is a, just a good good deny meta game. Deny was just really good for us, just in general. There's there's a lot of control and spell heavy decks where deny is good. So, I think we would put the third deny in, put the third house spider in, and now we got one more slot. Maybe maybe we play a solitary monk with that one last slot. I wouldn't be upset with that. Um. I wonder how like jeweled protector would kind of work in our deck um i wonder if like if dawn and dusk on these things if that's like even like possible or just like not even possible um i wouldn't may maybe even just play like a third yone like i, I wouldn't even hate that honestly just playing a third yone i don't know what to do with this last slot Could be another Spirit's Refuge. So if you have, if you're playing this deck later and you have something that you really want to play, you know, like there's a whole lot of cards that you can that you can play, and and it's not bad. Um, I've always liked Transfusion as like a trick to that can just be like a, a pump spell and everything, and just a, a really decent trick. I, I wouldn't mind Transfusion just having one of those in there as like something that will help protect your Yasuo. So maybe, maybe that's the route to go. Um, Cause there's gonna be times like where you just can't play your solitary monk at all. But other times where it's gonna help you win cause it's a four, three elusive. So I don't know, but basically that that two one wasn't very good. Maybe I'll just play a transfusion. I think I'd probably recommend a transfusion. And honestly, the elixir of wrath wasn't very good. Maybe just played two transfusions. Transfusion's pretty sweet. That's a good trick. Um, all right, there we go. That's Yasuo mid range. Uh, yep, think, think that's the way to go. Yeah, might, might has a lot of potential. Maybe one, maybe one might, one transfusion. Might definitely has a lot of potential with the blade twirler. Yeah, maybe just just trade out that that other spell for a might and a transfusion. I don't know. So basically, those two slots because I don't like we never we never ever used we never used this other card, whatever it was called, um, Elixir of Wrath. We never used this card, not a single time. So that that card didn't seem necessary. I could see just playing a couple Blades Edges to help out the aggro matchup. That could be a thing. Also, maybe maybe just do that. So basically, you have like two slots that I don't know exactly what to do with, but I like the numbers of everything else. Um, yeah, I basically like the numbers of everything else. 
Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? We're playing another. Figured out. We're playing another Steel Tempest. Oh, I don't. I don't have a third Steel Tempest, but I think you should probably play a third Steel Tempest. I can just craft one. Steel Tempest was very good, and I liked. I liked that card. It was. It was really good for us quite a bit. Um, I think. I feel like you could just play a third one of these, and then maybe a transfusion to help keep uh, Yasuo alive. All right, there we go. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go might, if you want to go solitary monk, uh, lots and lots of different options there. Um, but anyway, let's get on to our next deck. Um, so that's Yasuo mid range. Those you those y'all watching on YouTube, hope you hit that like button uh, over there and hit that subscribe button for those y'all here in uh, chat. That's the link to the YouTube channel. And also, this was a donation deck. So if you um, if you want me to play your deck through ten matches in at Masters rank, and then give suggestions and stuff afterwards, um, you can do that. It's just a ten dollar donation. Uh, there's the link down below for uh, to to donate. And um, yeah, it's just ten bucks. And just let me know what day you want me to play. If you if you have like the exact deck code, or if you want me to build a deck for you, either way. All right, but that's it here for Yasuo Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.